Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new frame tool that allows you to easily mask images into frames. So in this video, I'm going to give you three examples of how to use the frame tool. First, I'm just going to draw a frame and place an image into it. Second, I'm going to convert a shape and a text layer to show you how you can mask images into a shape or a text layer. And third, I'm going to draw a frame onto an existing image. In this first example, I'm going to show you how to draw out a frame and place an image. Let's go ahead and grab the frame tool over here in the tools or use the keyboard shortcut K. Up here in the menu bar, you have two options. You can draw out a rectangular frame or an elliptical frame. Let's start with a rectangle. I'm just going to draw out a shape. It's a free form unless I use the shift key, which will constrain it to a perfect square. I'm going to let go. I can move this around. I can free transform it. I'm going to go back and draw a circle now. So I can click on this elliptical frame. And I'm simply going to drag it out. If I hold the shift key, it'll constrain it again to that square. But when I let go, you can see here it's going to make a circle. Okay. To place an image, all you need to do is simply drag anything onto it. I'm going to be using it here in my Creative Cloud library. But you could drag something from the Layers panel or from your computer. Let's go ahead and drag this this lighthouse on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag the boat onto this frame right here. If you look down here in the layers panel, if I click on this first thumbnail here, that is selecting the frame. So if I want to drag this around, it's only changing the shape of the frame. If I want to change the image, you select the other thumbnail. I can free transform it so I can make the image bigger, but it is going to stay within that frame. Two things to note. When you place an image into a frame, it's going to come in as a smart object, so any edits will be non-destructive. And if you want to add layer styles, such as drop shadows or strokes, you can either convert it into a smart object or you can convert it into a group. And then you can get the strokes or you can get the drop shadows like you see here. Example two, I'm going to show you how to convert a shape layer or a text layer into a frame. Come over here to the custom shape tool. Any of these shapes will work. I'm just going to use the custom shape tool and simply drag out a little shape. Over here in the layers panel to convert it to a frame, just simply right click or control click and choose convert to frame. So I'm just going to hit OK. I can place anything into it by simply dragging it into it. Here it takes the shape of that frame. Text layer. To convert it to a frame, just simply right click on the text layer and choose convert to frame. Now all I need to do is simply drag something on top of it. I'm going to drag an image on it. It's going to resize it by using command T. Now you can see here this image is masked inside of that text layer. And if you ever want to release the image, so you want to get rid of the frame, you can right click on it, can remove the frame from layer, it's going to remove the frame, and now the full image will be there. In this third example, I'm going to show you how to use the frame tool to draw over an existing image. So with the image layer selected in the layers panel, I'm going to select the frame tool or use the keyboard shortcut K with the frame tool selected. I'm going to choose the ellipse. I'm going to drag it out over this existing image. Use the space bar to move it around. Hold the shift key if you want a perfect circle. Let go, and now the image is masked out in that circular frame. Lastly, I'm going to drag out another custom shape here. I'm just going to simply drag out a big well here since we're talking about Nantucket. This is just a custom shape, okay? I'm going to come over here to the layers panel. I'm going to right click or control click. I'm going to convert to frame, hit OK, and boom. Now the image is masked inside that well. So that is how you use the new frame tool, keyboard shortcut K in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.